Now we enter into the lower extremity region. We're going to talk about specifically the knee joint. We have a femur, our tibia, and our fibula, how they coincide with the actual knee joint, which is a hinge joint. Um, that's important to understand. We have our main functions are going to be extension and flexion, which would be increasing the angle of the joint in, in regards to the knee joint would be our extension and flexion in terms of decreasing the angle of joint in terms of flexion. We have our some slight rotation, um, external rotation of the tibia. Going to be rotating right there where it, it coincides with your femur when your, your knee is bent at a 90 degree angle. And you're going to have some slight internal rotation. As you can see, it's very, very limited in terms of that. The muscles that actually cause the extension of the knee are you're going to be your quadriceps. And we have your um, three of your quadriceps are going to be what we call one joint muscles. Then the fourth one's going to be your rectus femoris, which is your two joint muscles, which we'll touch on here in a little bit. Your hamstrings are the backside or posterior portion of your knee joint, and they are responsible for flexing the knee as well as extending the hip and we t when we talk about two joint muscles, which once again we'll touch on in a minute. Your ankle or lower to the that, the ankle joint, you're going to have your muscles um, of your calf and anterior uh, tibialis. You're going to have dorsiflexion, which is going to bring taking the anterior portion posteriorly backwards. Um, and the sole of the foot is anterior, okay? And then your plantar flexion with the sole of the foot is posterior. So referencing the sole of the foot, you're going to talk about dorsiflexion is going anterior and plantar flexion is posterior in the sagittal plane. Your ankle, if it was to roll inward and the sole of the foot is rolling outward, we call that eversion. And if the sole of the foot is inward rolling inward, we call that inversion. Most of your ankle sprains, twisting an ankle, are going to be rolling your foot on the inversion aspect, which would be supination. Your muscles of the calf muscles we refer to is your gastrocnemius and your soleus muscle. The gastrocnemius is going to be the superficial muscle. If you were to peel it away underneath there, you would see the soleus muscle. You can see in this picture that the gastrocnemius crisscrosses the actual uh, L, uh, knee joint as well as the ankle joint in your Achilles tendon. And the soleus only crisscrosses the lower portion of your ankle joint and your Achilles tendon, but it does not crisscross the actual knee joint, which we, once again is an example of how the gastrocnemius is a two joint muscle, which once again we'll talk about and further explain later. Anterior tibialis, it refers to the anterior portion of the tibia. It is the muscle that attaches to the foot and helps with um, your flexure, um, I went blank, uh, 